It's gonna be an overpowered pig! Huh? <laughs> yeah. Hey, <laughs> what's up? What's up, YouTube? Big B here with Ironclad RC. Thank you guys for riding with me. Yeah, I got some parts laid out on the table I've been collecting. Huh, you know where this is going. <laughs> That's the prize right there. Yeah, straight off the boat, baby. Hong Kong. Yep. A mini outrigger epoxy outrigger boat uh, this is like a generic eBay uh, rigger boat haul and I am super stoked to have this on the channel I'm gonna kind of unbox it for you guys show you what you're gonna be getting show you what it's all about the quality the workmanship uh, dimensions the whole nine kind of what we're gonna be dropping into it what you can drop into it and uh, yeah yeah so so we're gonna get right into it, you guys. Uh, you 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 know the deal. Hit that comment, subscribe, like, blah blah blah, ring the bells, and all that good stuff. Uh, yeah yeah, Big B here with Ironclad RC. All right, so so basically it's a generic style boat. No uh, no fancy packaging, no fancy box. Uh, that's what it came in, and that's what we got. Uh, that's the tub. That's the center part. But we're going to take the sponsons out, the bubble wrap. They actually had it wrapped, I mean, bubble wrap everywhere. I had bubble, bu popping bubbles for weeks with this thing. But uh, but they shipped it really well. The, and it came quicker, two weeks earlier than I thought it would. So, I mean, with the whole coronavirus thing and packaging, I, I couldn't believe it. But uh, I will say that about the company. They got it out in a reasonable manner of time, and it got here quickly. So, uh there's the sponsons and the boom tubes. Now, like I said, this is a epoxy rigger boat, an FRP fiber reinforced plastic. Okay, some. I mean, it looks like gel coat. I mean, look at it. It looks good. I mean, I had to really double check it, and I'm still guessing on it, but. Uh, it's definitely a plastic and it's you'll see when I pull the tub out that it is fiber reinforced So just wanted to make that clear uh, These are carbon carbon boom tubes. It's what connects your sponsons to the actual tub the main part of the boat uh, This boat is 40 centimeters long total length and 30 centimeters wide So it's a mini uh, I'm gonna put up. There's the tub y'all how badass does that look, huh? How how that is? That, <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you guys, I'm stoked. I'm stoked to have this for the channel, y'all, for real. Uh, this is a SEX 24. Put it up against the boat so you guys can kind of use it as uh, a, a measurement, a judgment, basically. But you guys see how we still got? So okay, so we got one here. All right. And then we're going to put another one. So it's two SCX 24s long. All right. Uh, it's a mini. It's a mini. We, we kind of looked at the sponsors, but we didn't really look at them. Let's, let's go ahead and get into the tub real quick. And then we'll come back to the sponsors. We're going to measure the ride pads and all that good stuff. All right. So this is the main part of the tub. This is where all the, all the, all the magic happens. Now, uh, it's got a nice looking little cowling. All right. And now you can see that it's fiber reinforced. It's, it's probably, if I had to guess, like a fiberglass uh, chopped cloth that they use to structurally strengthen the boat with. But it's, it's a nice, it looks nice. I mean, they did a good job to finish. There's not a lot of flaws. There are a couple here and there. But they can, they can be worked out. I mean, you can buff it up. You can make this boat look nice without having to paint it. We'll lay that aside, the cowling. So the hull actually comes with a few little goodies. Uh, it has a fiberglass motor mount, which is pretty nice. Pretty nice. Uh, 70 bucks for this setup. All right. And then it also includes 
a carbon fiber turn fin. You put that on the back of your right sponson and that helps you hug the water in the turns. It's nice looking, you guys. That's a, so that's included with the boat. That's not extra. You got the mounting tabs for the turn fin that is included. You also get a micro servo mount, which looks like a basically plastic type material. And they tried with the screws. <laughs> they tried. But hey, hey, 70 bucks. You can't beat it. That's a that's a nice boat. I show you guys what you get in the kit. Alright? You get the boat, what you see here, and then you get your motor mount, your turn fin, carbon fiber turn fin, turn fin mount, and a micro servo mount. It has two main uh openings on the tub here you got your main cow and then you got a little rear hatch back here which is like a plastic how big around the boom tubes are all right so six millimeter six millimeter boom tube this is actually used to connect the sponsons to the tub so you just kind of put them in they're already pre-drilled which is awesome you ain't got to go through all that crazy trouble trying to figure out measurements and guessing. So you get your boom tubes in. I like saying boom tubes, y'all. <laughs> uh, this is going to be a fun project. Yeah. All right. Got one sponsor on. And then we're going to throw the other one on the other side. <laughs> yeah. Done. Yeah, it looks tough, don't it? Golly, that thing looks tough. I seen it on eBay. I, man, I looked at it for a couple weeks and I, I pulled the trigger, y'all. I pulled the trigger. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. We got we got our, our uh, adjustable ruler out. Going to give you a couple measurements. And then we're going to get into kind of the electronics and what to install on the boat. Um, so I'm going to flip it over here. We'll set the hatch off. We're going to flip the... The boat over and I'm gonna give you a couple oh wow look at the okay so so we're gonna do the measurements but I just wanted to point this out so I don't overlook it uh, you see the seam maybe you can see it in the light there you see how the seam has like a where they put the the sponsons together and the tub they uh, it's not perfect some boats, you know, like a TFL, the seams come almost flawless. You can barely see them. And some of the cheaper boats, you can definitely make out the seam uh, where they put the two two parts together. So you, you get what you pay for. I mean, 70 bucks, it's not cheap for a mini boat, but I, I would have liked to seen a better uh, glue up seam job. But like I said, you get what you pay for. Uh, so yeah, let's get back to the measuring. This is the, the ride pad, and basically back here is where the boat will be riding at up on plane. But we got one inch, one inch ride pads on your sponsons. Let's make sure both of them are the same, and they are ride pad. Uh, let's see here, inches. Total length on the ride pad from here to here is basically four, four and a quarter inches uh the tub is i think it's two yep two inches wide two inches wide on your tub um the total length from tip to tip total length is 18 and a quarter inches or 46 and a half centimeters total length 30 centimeters wide from sponson to sponson outside to outside the tub is 16 inches or 39 and a half 40 centimeters 40 centimeters on the tub total length got her zeroed out now let's check the weight of just the hull with the boom tubes and sponsons so 7.5 ounces we're going to go inside the boat now and just kind of check out the interior the layout um you got it one logo in the whole 
the whole setup. Oshman's Hobbies. Fiberglass mat. And then they 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 wetted it down with some epoxy. Uh, it's actually it's actually a little bit flimsy on the sides, but the bottom feels super super strong. They, they actually did a good job on the bottom of the boat. It's not it's not flexible and pliable. The holes were drilled perfect. That's another thing I wanted to point out. The holes are drilled perfect size for these boom tubes. They're not too big and wallowed out or anything. So that's really nice. Uh, let's see what else can we, we point out. See the flare? See the flare on the sponsons? How the ride pad gets wider on both sides. Now I'll bet you money you could probably sand some of that off to get a little bit smaller ride pad if needed. Or you can add a piece of plywood which is what they call for on a few different riggers so you can widen this ride pad or even change the angle up on your ride pad because that is a flat surface so you got options here so they sell this m mini rigger which is 40 centimeters long they also offer the exact same style but larger uh, 69 centimeter hull so 40 and they offer a 69 centimeter rigger you can get these rigger kits uh, all, all types of different ways you can buy them ready to run right out the box just throw batteries in it and go or you can get like just the, the bare hull like we have here or you could get like a wood kit version and build your own uh, laser cut outrigger which is what I was gonna do I enjoy building boats for but for time's sake I went with uh, just the hole we're gonna throw all the electronics in there and uh yeah we're gonna get it out and give it a blast Kip's rigger uh, build plan actually calls for a 28 size 2840 size can with a maximum motor size of 3050. And Kip's outrigger is very sim similar to this outrigger, if not identical, you guys. So uh, you can kind of look, if you do decide to get this boat, you can look up Kip's mini outrigger, get the build plans, and use his recommended electronics which I will include that link in the description as well. Give you a couple options. Uh, I want to show you what a couple of different motors look like in the boat and, and just so you can kind of have a general idea uh, of mm, what kind of electronics you could possibly put in here. So, so uh, I got this 2868 size motor and it's very large for this boat. See? Not much room on the sides and really not a lot of room in between the sponson and the front of your uh, your hatch opening. So uh, with the with the ZTW Shark 50, which is not a small ESC by no means, it basically fills this boat up. Just want to show you kind of what it looks like in the boat, how much room you have with a 2S2200 in there with this ESC and motor combo. So maybe you guys might want to do something a little bit different than I am, hint, hint. 2S, the ESC, and your motor, all right? And then you got your, your micro servo that you're gonna to have to put in there and your receiver box, all right? So there's not a whole lot of room in here, you guys, as you can see, all right? So now I'm going to take out this 50 amp ESC and put something a little smaller in there. Now this is an aviation ESC, it's not for boats, but you can use this in this boat because it's not water cooled, okay? So something to think about, that ESC right there, you get it for like $8, okay? So look, with that 30 amp, all right, I'm gonna take out this 20, 
28 millimeter motor and we're going to throw in this 22 millimeter outrunner which is not designed for boats but just so you guys kind of get an idea of what you're going to be up against so got plenty of room around that motor I can't use this motor mount with that big motor I have I'm having to put a custom motor mount in but you can use this motor mount with this small motor you see that all right you got plenty of room for everything okay you can run this boat on 3s setting it up light and this thing will probably be just as fast if not faster than my overbuilt hog of a boat and it's going to run better than a heavy boat if you keep it light if you keep it light it's going to handle better in choppy water now a heavy boat's going to handle better on slick calm glass all right and that's what i'm that's what i'm kind of building my boat i want to do speed runs i'll do some oval passes and stuff but i want to see what we can get out this thing huh to possibly run like a drone setup 6s setup in this thing and just do some straightaway screaming y'all but this is a perfect little boat to build if you got small ponds near your house or in your backyard it don't take a whole lot of room to run this boat so i'm super stoked to have it on the channel i hope you guys kind of like this unboxing this kind of review i'm trying to think of a scheme paint job vinyl wrap job for this thing that looks cool stands out i was thinking something along the lines of like a graffiti theme but a race theme might be okay too but you guys comment let me know what you guys want to do maybe we'll put something together huh but yeah i got all the hardware needed and we're going to get started building this thing as soon as possible so look for it on the channel ring that bell to get notified for the builds as always, you guys, thank you for watching. Big B with Ironclad RC. Build your rigs, Ironclad. Have fun doing it. We'll see you next time.